Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Monday, December 18th, 2023. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin with an injury update on Charlotte Flair. The 14-time women's world champion is set to undergo surgery shortly with Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer reporting that the nature of her injuries include tears to the meniscus, ACL, and MCL of her left knee. Flair went down with multiple injuries to her knee during her match against Asuka on the December 8th edition of SmackDown. She's expected to miss at least nine months of action. WWE's holiday tour rolled on last night with a house show at the Mayo Civic Center in Rochester, Minnesota. In the main event, Seth Rollins retained the World Heavyweight title in a triple threat with Drew McIntyre and Shinsuke Nakamura. It was the fifth time the three had met in a triple threat on the house show circuit, although a match has yet to be done for television. Cody Rhodes defeated Damian Priest in their 20th Street Fight House show encounter since their televised match last June on Raw. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven successfully defended the Women's Tag Team Championship against Caden Carter and Katana Chance. In another tag team match, L.A. Knight and Kevin Owens teamed to defeat Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. In the opening match, Jey Uso topped Finn Balor. In other results, Omos topped Akira Tozawa. Nia Jax beat Shayna Baszler. The Street Profits defeated the LWO, and DIY and The Miz went over Imperium. As a trio, Imperium have not won a six-man tag team match in WWE since last February. WWE has brought an annual house show to the Mayo Civic Center since 2006, but first ran the building in 1986 with a card headlined by the Dream Team against the British Bulldogs. It was also the site of the 1992 LPWA pay-per-view Super Ladies Showdown. Prior to that, it was also run by the AWA and first opened to pro wrestling in 1951 with a card headlined by Killer Kowalski against Joe Dusick. Our final report today will contain some spoilers for upcoming Ring of Honor television. These will not be full results, but only the newsworthy items that occur during these tapings. If you wish to not hear any of these spoilers, we'll give you a moment to make your decision, and please remember to follow us across all of our forums of social media. During Saturday night's Ring of Honor TV tapings at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland, Texas, Tony Khan unveiled a Ring of Honor Women's Television Championship belt. This would be a new secondary women's title in ROH, although further details about it and about how the first champion would be crowned were not made known. The new title would be Ring of Honor's first secondary women's championship. The ROH World Women's title was introduced in 2021, AEW was the first major American promotion to introduce a secondary women's championship with the TBS title introduced in January of last year. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the wrestling news podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall. Just the Wrestling News. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.